Hello. Today we're going to have a look on this Savage Gear 160 gram squish jig. It's a pretty new jig and uh, it's basically designed for medium and small reef fishes, groupers, snappers, small tunas. The first time I saw it, I realized that this can be a jig also used for larger fish like the dogtooth tuna, yellowfin tuna, and other species, of course. But especially for the doggies, it's nice to have a small, compact, quite heavy jig, actually, as this one. But the hooks and the Kevlar cord is a bit thin and small, so we have to change it. We're gonna modify it to have it look like this. It's more suitable for uh, larger fish. A single hook setup with some uh, thicker Kevlar cord and uh, little squid as a, a tractor. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do this. It's quite easy. Uh, we just take away the old hooks. And we're gonna mount the new ones in the top of the jig. And it's um, you usually say that on a speed jig that the hook is going to be placed from one third to the middle but uh, this is a short jig so it's going to be like on the middle or even a little lower otherwise it's hard to get a Kevlar cord at all so we use this Savage Gear Big Fish Advanced Super Braid it's 280 pound breaking strength and quite tooth proof and the, the doggies have really big and sharp tooth but they're not cutting tooth they are gripping tooth so they are not as long as they don't hit in between the the cords in the Kevlar it's it's actually no problem you don't need wires or single strands and stuff like that for for doggies so you just take a good quality uh, jigging hook uh, size 90 to 11 0 this is a 11 0 so place the kevlar cord from the inside Take it around like that. Make one single knot. There you go. And then I used to twist it a bit. Mount a solid ring for jigging. Like that. And if you want to have an, you can use it just like that. But if you want to have a little extra attractor, many people use a rubber squid. It's proven to be quite effective to have this squid, but it's, it works fine without it too. Just place it over the hook, like that. Put on the 
solid rate. I take a, I used the ten and a half millimeter Savage gear split ring. Put it on top of the jig, like that. And then you attach the solid ring like that. So. So what you actually do then, when you attach it to the leader, is you tie in the solid ring, or put the split ring in the solid ring, and then the jig hangs freely, so you have a direct connection with the fish here. So, now it's rigged for the big ones and uh, it, it can handle really big fish now we caught fish uh, up to 50 60 pounds on these jigs so far i believe we can catch much bigger but um, well that's a good tip how you can uh, re-rig re your uh, savage gear squish jig for larger prey Tight lines.